While noting the success registered in the previous arranged music concerts and entertainment events that happened at the end of the year 2023, the Deputy Resident City Commissioner of Rubaga Division, Anderson Burora, today at Media Center, noted that the major challenge they experienced was the effects that came with some music stakeholders that are using their art as war tools, engaging in different campaigns, including political ones. Some of the challenges we identified are that promoters of these events, some musicians and some comedians have turned their work into a battleground. And in some areas where these events were held, we almost experienced fights between different groups based on their beliefs and based on their confrontations ignited by the said organizers. He also outlined the troubles that came with dividing funds over their beliefs, among others. Dividing funds sometimes can be okay to the one perpetrating. But once something erupts, it comes now to the security to come and put the situation to order. In such incidents, Security requires that it injures in the process of stopping, which is not necessary. And we think this should stop. However, one of the music stakeholders, who is also the chairman of Viga Music Awards, Prince Nick Nyombi, explained that the use of music is to pass on a message, adding the need for the audiences to embrace each other's different interests. But the idea of us appreciating that people can have different ideologies but I, I live together harmoniously is something that we need to learn. He also noted that the issue negatively affecting the music industry and aiding misconduct is the unstable foundation of the associations in charge of handling their art. How they are formed is now the challenge. Where, where, where are they formed for benefits or are they formed for another agenda including other benefits? <laughs> you know, now that's where the mechanics and the challenges and the confusion and the cavuyo comes through. Rubaga RCC mentioned that they have fronted a list of promoters, musicians, comedians and MCs for consideration to the IGP when clearing their events, recommending that those who unintentionally disrupt concert agendas be engaged. It has nothing to do with the affiliation of these persons politically or religiously or culturally or ethnically. Neither is it intended to target anyone politically. On the other hand, there was a noticeable agreement concerning the need to ban parents from tagging their children who are below age for concerts that expose them to immoral acts. I'm happy that one of these days we have so many kids that are doing music. Unfortunately, some of them are also doing adult music, they're not doing children music. That's, that's now a challenge. But for those who are doing music for their, 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 their fellows, I think they should organize concerts for these children and they go. And those ones like religious and cultural events, we have nothing wrong with them because their character and behavior are friendly and lessons to the young people or the young children.